Everything around me looks a little great. Ever since you found out, worry about my brain. I just need a time out, probably just a sprain. It's okay, babe, baby, it's okay. Got a lot of words you don't know how to say. Pull out all your big ones, tryna flip my face. I give you a big hug, say I'm feeling great. Feeling great. It's okay, babe, baby, it's okay. I don't wanna see you worry. So the day started with me taking the 8.45 a.m. GO train to Toronto from Kitchener. I reached the Union Station around 10.30 and then took another train to the airport. And I also met Carl Conard. He's a tech YouTuber that I follow. He does product reviews, which was great. Unfortunately, my flight was delayed by three hours, so I decided to, you know, just wait and work on some blog posts and also edited a few videos to kill time. Okay, so they finally made the boarding call and you're finally gonna take off. So here is the Toronto airport. You can see it was really sunny that day, so which is good. And I finally landed in Tampa. Uh, this was my first time in Tampa, Florida. I've been to Orlando last year. The next day, we had Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Apple at Sivo Navigate as the keynote speaker. It was a great convo learned a lot about you know how Steve's childhood was and his interest in technology it was great uh, seeing him and then I went to get some coffee the venue itself was really great and you'll see in this vlog along with coffee I also got some ice cream also I attended David's talk on broken Kubernetes clusters I also attended two talks uh, up to David's talk by now uh, but unfortunately, I didn't have the recording. Kunal's talk on imposter syndrome was really great. Uh, it was really interactive. You could participate as he was going through his, you know, talk. And it was a great opportunity to network. And then finally, uh, we hit the night and you can see the, the venue itself is just so amazing. The food was really good. And I was just preparing for the after hours party. And we had some drinks, uh, again, great networking opportunity. I met amazing tech Twitter folks that I've known over the years now, finally in person. And you can see the food here. And then day two, this is where our Airbnb was. I just wanted to show it only took 10 minutes for a walk. It was a great neighborhood. I loved the warm weather, you know, coming from Canada, it was really harsh winter at that time in February so this was a good change of environment and I just wanted to give you a quick you know b-roll shots of the venue itself so as soon as you enter the venue there was this show and tell workshops where you know people were giving workshops on kubernetes or other devops tooling right and then this was the eating area or you could say like a food court and the quality of food here was amazing we got around 40 dollars in coupons to spend here and this was where all the sponsors were so you know this is where you would collect swags and stuff and talk to different companies in the devops space and this is also where you got really good coffee I, both days I think I had coffee two times and here you can see and then I decided to spend some time outside get a little break from the demos and it was really good outside and this is the other venue they had so this is the rooftop where certain workshops were happening too and I also met Michael in person finally so that was great so I'll show you the rooftop venue in a bit because my workshop for GitHub SMS alert action talk that I was going to give was also at the rooftop. Attending some more workshops here. 
And then we also decided to have a meeting with the Cube Huddle team. So that's happening in Toronto in May. Go check it out. The link is in the description if you want tickets. And I think the CFP is now closed. Here's Michael presenting his talk around 90 days of DevOps. Again, it's a great resource if you're learning DevOps. And finally, me presenting my GitHub Actions Fail SMS alert system that I built. And yeah, overall, the experience was great. I know they'll post this talk on YouTube. So Siva will post this on YouTube on their own channel. So I'll let you know once that's available. And then, as I said, the views were just amazing. Here you can see the outside of the rooftop. This is the view you had. Finally, I had some pizza for the night and now I'm ready to head out. Checked out of the Airbnb, got myself a lift to the Tampa airport and we'll be back in, in the snow in Toronto. Uh, I loved the weather here. I think it was a good change from, you know, the winters. I didn't have breakfast, so I was just gonna eat this banana bread that I had the day before. And we finally take off. Uh, the flight was on time, fortunately. And I had some takeout for the flight. And we are back in Toronto in the snow and you can see the weather already.